Hi, hello. This is K six X O X and Hotel Sierra One in the Foxtrot uniform. This is the part two of building Wi-Fi APIs I get using the Node MCU. So in this part, we are talking about how to fetching the Arduino Pro Mini to become TNC or modem in the KISS mode. KISS stand for keep it simple and stupid. That's what we use this name for many years. Okay. The first thing is you need to have the Arduino Pro Mini. I'm gonna show you on the, this one. So you can buy this one. They have two kind of this um, type of board. As you already know, in China, they sell it like hmm. Maybe three dollars, yeah, three four dollars. That's it. Or you can buy from original Arduino, which is cost like twenty dollars. It's like big difference, and I'm pretty sure they are knockoff cheap here. It's not really at mail inside. That's why the cost so cheap. But for me, it worked, but it might not work that long. But for this function, it worked fine. So this is the call SQ9MDD configuration for the firmware. Let me explain a little bit on this one. If some people, some ham, we already know. That's okay. Some ham, maybe brand new ham, or someone jump into the APIs. I need to explain a little bit. So, in terms of send and receive on APIs, which is we use AX25 packet radio, which we need have we need to have something between to um, convert or encoded and decoded send and receive basically back in the old day we have the big chunk of the box we call TNC terminal node controller or the modem which is back then we still have a TTL IC have like more than 40 chip in there cost like $200 nowadays we have the microcontroller is fast enough for this function and we have the uh, software ability to do it that's we call analog to digital digital to analog stuff so let's explain this one so in in order to receive the packet radio we call the the audio frequency chip keying AFSK so we need to change the audio that we plug into the microphone instead of we talking a voice to the radio to the HT tons transceiver. So we have to change the data from whatever you have in terms of you know A B C D E F and or XML code, binary code, we change to ASCII and we convert to binary code so <clears throat> for the AFSK the, the basic is we have dual tone 1200 and 2200 Hz uh, represent 0 and 1 in dual tone so imagine if we send the one letter like A, B, C, D, E. We need to convert each one of them to become binary and convert to the uh, AFSK. 
so you can see hear the sound quick quick something like that so let's cut the crap on add one so some people want to know this chip what they gonna do this is act like a modem or TNC in and out in it mean we receive from the radio from the radio have the audio come out to the speaker so we have this capacitor go to the analogs A0 and this is a kind of like wanted divider to drop out we get like you know perfect the audio side wave because we call the AFSK I mean audio frequency chip frequency chip not the amplitude frequency we change shifting on the frequency so we get the analog to digital go to the processor and then we send out TX and RX we send the RX to the uh, node MCU and TX sorry we TX from here to node MCU and RX is we receive from the node MCU send the command to get this guy send the call sign or whatever you want so when you send it out they receive RX from that MCU board and this guy want to send so we send a signal to put to top and audio out so the audio out you see this is a resistor with kind of like um, we call the ladder of ladder for uh, digital to analogs so it become a small like PWM and we go to uh, um, resistor and capacitor to um, act like um, what they call that a band path filter to get rid of the the uh, square wave to become more smoother inside wave so we plug into the microphone along with the PDT in the same time so that's about it so the thing that we need to do it now we need to get the uh, code in here so don't be worried about that coding you don't need to do anything we have the way how to do that by using the program we call the X loader let's see where we get so um, we go back to here a little bit so to get you understand on this one that's a picture which will show diagram that we have so we're gonna use uh, SQ9 MDD firmware to flash in this chip this is on this part which we call part 2 and this is RX and TX and you can zoom in there to wiring get back together and make it work so I'm gonna upload the file we call X loader into the the, the link that we have and let's see before to go to that one we need to take a look at this one again and this is the uh, we need to have this part we call the USB to TTL serial in the fit TTL it means 0 to 5 logic so the wiring from here is uh, have to be closed. The, you, you can see the, the label here like for example like TX you go to IX and IX to TX and this is about it. But in this board we need to have one more wire and I don't have in here with to be called. We need to connect from this board they call DTR to DTR so I'll show you on the video later on so I use this board this is the um, USB to TTL made by the Gravitex if you want to buy this board you go to website Gravitex and then this is a really very good because this one have the uh, USB uh, type C 
and you see this one I talking earlier we have RTS it's all the signal here we only need ground VTC DTR TX and RX that's it that's what you can see the one two three four four wire so I connect to the Arduino Pro Mini so if you connect TX and RX plus and minus or firewall and ground and you forgot DTR the Arduino will not be able to program because this DTR signal will go to reset the Arduino before so they can start to get the program in there okay so here the Arduino board this is I got from China I bought from AliExpress that not long ago I know it's wrong but what can you do I'm not a very rich guy I do a lot of project I bought like 10 of them so I can make this one for a lot of project and um, very handy you know so when you got this one you need to flash it on this is a ready everything ready so normally when you bought the board like this you see the flashing here they call LED 13 this is a, a factory firmware when you plug the power in the LED will flash in so okay let's go to see the uh, Xloader program okay when you download Xloader it's come with the the zip file here and after you take it out you will have this one Xloader and you click it run it okay so when you plug this one in I cannot maximize so when you plug this one um, you already have defaults here I don't know Metamic got 320x and there's um, see firmware you delay 80 or delay 50 whatever so this is a COM port this is a uh, very obvious from the USB to TTL you get a COM29 and then you get this file which is already preload when I click it they go to here a firmware a firmware a firmware which is they have a hex file so I'm gonna use this one see they have two files if you download from the website the one is 19 thousand nineteen two hundred and the ninety six hundred I I bought use ninety six hundred or maybe you want to try this one but many people want to try is nineteen two hundred it's faster and delay fifty and this guy is kind of like new I, I want to try this one okay so let's go to X and we go to H Uh oh okay then we got this file and we click open and now we click upload boom see you can see here it's done that's it you see here uploaded only 3430 30 byte that so small that's it we're done so what we're gonna do next is the wiring in the program to get the the firmware work and we should have the program will work the same way as we explained earlier 
right? So this is all we need and we're going to put this one back together and using the uh, schematic that I show in the part one and this is the schematic that we're going to use so we're gonna put the um, the resistor and all kind of stuff here but I think I only put for um, receiving because I don't want to have the the I gate uh, send out the beacon on the IF and you know cause a lot of thing more than that because this already have a traffic coming in I don't want to have the I gate I get supposed to be received or you know or maybe someone want to have this I gate to become um, Digi Peter, because if you don't have the internet, you can turn off the icon. They're going to be uh, starting forward, so you can build this all together. That fine. So I'm, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna put the rain sensor. I only put the uh, temp and humidity, and the LDR is for the light. So you have to put this in the to the sunlight, so they can change the uh, symbol of the uh, APS on the map which is if you have like a dark one you have a cloudy right and if you have sunny it mean then change the icon become a normal and this is a one day divider so you can have this one send it up set up this one calibration for LDR to the analog pin this is a uh, calibration I'm not gonna put that one too I only put this one because I wanna use that this I get for receiving only and put in a box somewhere nearby the tower so uh, feel free to make a lot of thing here if you like to have a more feature so I only show you how to build this one and I'm gonna show you the results later on after that when we get the the all kind of thing working right then that one will be on the part 3 I'm gonna show you on uh, finish so with this part this should be finished to be done because I already show you how to the uh, uh, flashing by using the X loader okay then I'll see you next time thank you very much have a nice day